Just two weeks ago, SpaceX successfully launched their cutting-edge Starship rocket into space. This colossal rocket stands 160 feet tall, with a diameter of 30 feet, and it's powered by a whopping 33 Raptor engines. Can you believe that? What an absolute beast! This incredible event has opened up a new era of space exploration, but it has also sparked controversy as multiple environmental groups have filed a lawsuit against the Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA. The lawsuit claims that the FAA failed to fully analyze the significant environmental and community impacts of the SpaceX launch program. Is SpaceX in trouble? Let's find out. The blast from the massive rocket created an environmental impact that affected not just SpaceX, but also the local community. The liftoff sent dust, dirt, and debris flying into the air, raining down over Port Isabel and its surroundings. In fact, the launch left behind a 25-foot deep crater. One of the main reasons for the damage to the launch pad was the absence of a flame diversion system or water to absorb heat and sound energy at the Starbase facility. Typically, rocket launch sites have large concrete trenches that redirect energy away from the pad and the vehicle, while thousands of gallons of water deluge the area. It's not clear why SpaceX didn't use this kind of infrastructure, which is part of the launch setup for its Falcon rockets. In February 2022, the FAA issued a final programmatic environmental assessment and finding of no significant impact record of decision for the SpaceX Starship Super Heavy Launch Vehicle Program. This approved SpaceX's plans to launch 20 Starship Super Heavy rockets per year over the next five years, along with tank tests, static fire engine tests, and construction of additional launch-related infrastructure. On April 14th, the FAA issued a commercial space transportation license to SpaceX, which, relying on the FONSI rod, allowed the company to launch the first flight of the Starship Super Heavy vehicle and undertake pre-flight ground operations, such as tank testing and static fire tests, over the next five years. The lawsuit alleges that the launch of these rockets results in intense heat, noise, and light that adversely affect surrounding habitat areas and communities, including designated critical habitat for federally protected species, as well as national wildlife refuge and state parklands. The goal of the lawsuit is to halt SpaceX from launching Starship specifically in the Boca Chica area. The lawsuit highlights the environmental impacts of the Starship Super Heavy Launch Vehicle Program, citing that the program cannot be reduced through mitigation. It further states that the FAA failed to fully consider and address the impacts of the program and consider alternatives that would reduce the impacts of the launch program. SpaceX CEO Musk commented on the debris caused by the launch, stating that it is essentially sand and rock and not toxic. He acknowledged that the company does not want to create such debris again and is taking measures to prevent similar occurrences, including installing a large steel plate and water deluge system beneath the rocket. The Starship rocket uses methane as its primary fuel source. When burned, it produces carbon dioxide and water vapor. Both of these greenhouse gases contribute to climate change, and it's important that we keep an eye on the overall emissions. However, it's not all bad news. SpaceX is taking steps to mitigate the environmental impact of their launches. They're researching ways to produce methane from renewable sources, like solar and wind power. This would significantly reduce the carbon footprint of their rocket launches. SpaceX has been working closely with local governments and residents to minimize these issues. They've implemented strict noise regulations and invested in infrastructure improvements around launch sites to help manage traffic and maintain the quality of life for those living nearby. In order for the lawsuit to succeed, the environmental groups must show that the FAA's rule is arbitrary and capricious or contrary to law. This may be difficult, considering the extensive regulations and time spent on SpaceX securing the initial launch license. SpaceX has made several corrective actions to mitigate the effect of its launch activities, including public outreach, endangered species protection, and coastal zone management. However, the lawsuit argues that the FAA should be required to complete the environmental impact statement process. It remains to be seen how the lawsuit will impact the future timeline and program. If a decision is not made within a relatively short period, the lawsuit may not have a significant impact on SpaceX's plans. Despite the damage and new regulatory requirements, Musk remains optimistic, stating that Starship could be ready to launch again in just one to two months. 
However, the company will need to address the lack of proper energy and heat suppression infrastructure before attempting another launch. Installing these systems could prevent the kind of damage and disruption caused by this latest launch. The atmosphere during the launch event was absolutely electric. Tens of thousands of space enthusiasts from all around the world gathered to witness this historic moment. The energy, the excitement, the unity of people coming together to celebrate a shared passion for space exploration. It was truly an unforgettable experience. In a press conference following the launch, Musk spoke about the significance of the Starship mission and how it's pushing the boundaries of space exploration. Musk's genuine enthusiasm and passion for space exploration are truly inspiring. His relentless drive to push the boundaries of what's possible has been instrumental in achieving this significant milestone. Starship is designed to be a fully reusable rocket, which means it can be launched, landed, and launched again multiple times. This is a game-changer, as it significantly reduces the cost of space missions and makes space travel more accessible to a broader range of people and organizations. But it doesn't stop there. Starship's massive payload capacity of up to 100 tons means that it's capable of carrying not only satellites and cargo, but also human passengers. With Starship, SpaceX is paving the way for affordable, large-scale human space travel and even colonization of other planets like Mars. Let's not forget to acknowledge some of SpaceX's other groundbreaking rockets that have played a crucial role in the company's journey so far. Just a few days ago, SpaceX successfully launched another Falcon Heavy mission. The mission, dubbed Global Reach, carried multiple satellites into orbit, showcasing the Falcon Heavy's versatility in handling complex and diverse payloads. The satellites included communication, Earth observation, and research instruments from various organizations and countries. If you enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe for more updates. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.